Today is Wednesday, 9th of February, 2022, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is, From Emmanuel to Christ in You. Our theme scripture is taken from John 14, verse 16, and it says, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Hallelujah. The hope of the Old Testament was Emmanuel, God with us. Pastor begins. In Exodus 33, 15, Moses said to the Lord, If thy presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. Every prophet of the Old Testament understood that God had to be with them. It was very important, and then the message came about the birth of Jesus. That was the hope of the Old Testament, the hope of Israel. But he came among them, and many of them failed to recognize him. Yet that was Emmanuel. Thanks be unto God that he'll come again, and he'll live among them for 1,000 years during his millennial reign. Hallelujah. But Christianity, the gospel of Jesus Christ, isn't Emmanuel. Hmm. As read in our theme verse, Jesus said, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, the Holy Spirit, that he may abide with you forever, according to John 14, verse 16. Pastor says, the Holy Spirit brings the presence of God. Glory to God. The 17th verse says, Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because he seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Praise the Lord. The phrase, he dwelleth with you, is Emmanuel, and many of them believed in him as the Messiah, the Anointed One. They understood that God himself came and dwelt among them in human form in the person of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. However, the vision was the latter part of that verse. He shall be in you, not just with you. That's the promise of the gospel, the transition from Emmanuel to Christ in you. Oh, hallelujah. Pastor says, Christ in you became a vital reality in your life the moment you were born again. From then on, no need to ever seek God's face. He's in you and you are in him, mingled with him as one divine creation. Glory to God. If the gospel you've preached or received doesn't include that God Almighty has come to live inside you, Pastor says, it's time to wake up to this reality. This is Christianity. Never make light of it. Praise God, Pastor concludes. Thank you, Lord our God, for your word to us today. All right, let's take a confession now, meaning it to the whole of our hearts. Please say after me. Christ lives in me through the Holy Spirit. And Christ in me is the hope of glory. The glory is revealed in my finances, in my health, in my business and family. Christ in me is my assurance of prosperity, success, victory and dominion. Hallelujah. All right, for further study, please read Colossians 1, 26 to 27, 1 Corinthians 3, 16, and then 1 Corinthians 6, 19 of the TPT says, Have you forgotten that your body is now the sacred temple of the Spirit of Holiness who lives in you? You don't belong to yourself any longer. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ 
is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. The street. It's filling streets. God's Spirit is pouring out blessings all over the world. The Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris is here again. It is the biggest and most impactful healing service ever. The clouds are gathering and there will be an outpouring of the miraculous all over the world from March 18th to the 20th, 2022. When we tell that devil to get out, it'll get out in the name of Jesus. And there will be restoration. You'll be healed. If you could not walk, you'll be able to get up and walk. When that moment comes, and I tell you to put your hands where you need a miracle, get ready because you must recover in the name of Jesus. Get ready to receive your own miracle. Doesn't matter what sickness, doesn't matter what infirmity, by the precious and powerful name of Jesus Christ, you will be healed. Be God unto you. Give God praise. You are healed for your own baby. Could not walk, see, or talk for over three months. And what's now, now she can walk, she can, she walk, can talk, she can she talk, can see. and she can see. Well, shout hallelujah! Register now to participate at www.healingstreams.tv slash three days. For more details, please call plus one eight three two seven two four nine three nine zero or plus four four two zero three one seven six nine seven two four or plus two seven seven nine nine six seven five eight five two or plus two three four one eight 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 five zero six six the services will be broadcast live on www.healingstreams.tv and on the healing school mobile app and translations are available in many languages the healing streams live healing services with pastor chris your set time for your healing